girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the alternate versions of books I would read, part two. Now, before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know a bit of a spoiler warning, just in case I, um, um, if you haven't read any of these books, I would talk, I would just talk about some spoilers about some books, alternate versions of the books I would read and, um, stuff that, um, spoilers that are in these books currently. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on to the video. The other alternate version of a book I would read is in You've Reached Sam. What if Sam survived the car accident? Now, originally in the book, Sam did sur um, survive the car accident for a little while. He crawled out of his car and tried to walk away and to reach Julie, but Julie wasn't there near the incident. She was like at home or something waiting for him. So what Sam did, he tried to crawl away and walk away, but he was nearly bleeding to death. So he had the an intention to live. It's just he didn't live that long. He lived for a good certain amount of minutes, but um, due to nobody being there to help him, he bled to death. So what if Sam did survive the car accident? I feel like if he did survive the car accident, he and Julie would still be together and... Um, do the things they would intentionally do together, like move to another country, graduate high school, graduate college, maybe even have kids. Who knows? Instead of, you know, Julie end up calling Sam's ghost for the majority of the book and saying goodbye to Sam's ghost and trying to grieve and move on. But I feel like it would be really cute if they stayed together. Who knows? So anyway, on to the next book. The other alternate version of a book I would read is in Never Never, what if Peter Pan allowed Captain Hook to become a lost boy? Now, what intentionally happened in the um, originally, Peter Pan made a deal with the Odd Sisters saying that um, that they will give Peter Pan like a some sort of challenge. So what the challenge is, is that Captain Hook will stay with Peter Pan as a child. Captain Hook was a kid. He would stay in um, Neverland for a while, but then not permanently become a lost boy. So Captain Hook, he would find a way to go back to Neverland and give up his, um, give up his normal life just to become a lost boy. And he became a pirate. And then as soon as he met Peter Pan, he would tell Peter Pan, hey, I want to become a lost boy. But um, Peter Pan struck him down and told him, I don't, I never wanted you to become a lost boy. I wanted you to become a villain. So Captain Hook became a villain originally. But what if, I feel like if Peter Pan and Captain Hook became, um, if Captain Hook became a lost boy with Peter Pan, I feel like Captain Hook and Peter Pan, they would become very close friends. And I feel like someone else could fill in the role as ca as um, Captain Hook instead of just Captain Hook himself. You know, another pirate could come in and do Captain Hook's bidding instead of just the actual Captain Hook. Because Captain Hook originally wanted to become a Lost Boy. So if that originally happened, I feel like that would have been interesting. Because Captain Hook deserves a happy ending. Because all he ever wanted was to become a Lost Boy. He gave up everything he could. He... It was just sad seeing that he just drove to the brink of insanity just because Peter Pan said, no, you're not becoming a lost boy. So anyway, on to the next book. The next alternate version of a book I would read is in Kyland. What if Kyland kept the scholarship instead of originally giving it to Tinley? So what originally happened is that Kyland kept talking over and over about how he would graduate high school and get this certain scholarship to leave um, to get out of being poor and stuff like that because he uh, he lives in a trailer all by himself. No parents whatsoever. And, um, but after, you know, falling in love with Tinley, he had a change of heart and he gave the scholarship to Tinley. So he stayed, you know, in poverty for a while or whatever and um, worked in the mines. But what if he kept the scholarship? If he originally kept the scholarship like he intended, I feel like he would just leave um, the poverty of, you know, get um, getting out of the trailer. He would leave Tenley behind and start a new life for himself. He did love Tenley, but if he originally kept the scholarship, I feel like he would have just moved on. He wouldn't come back to wherever he was born from that trailer. He wouldn't come back. He would never come back for Tenley. He would never 
have kids with her or anything in the future. He would just go forward, never looking back. So I think that's what would have happened um, in an alternate version of that book I would read. That would be interesting, though. Anyway, on to the final book for part two. And the final alternate version of a book I would read for part two is in The Fault in Our Stars, What If Hazel Died Instead of Gus? So originally what happened is that Hazel, she's got lung cancer and there, there were so many subtle hints of her having a bunch of problems in the book and that we would intentionally thought that Hazel was gonna die instead of Gus. But no, what actually happened is that Gus died instead of Hazel, Hazel lived. But what if, you know, Hazel died instead of Gus? If they kept the whole Hazel keeps getting worse and worse and she would initially, you know, die like everybody thought. So if she would have died, Gus would be all, all alone. He wouldn't have all those, you know, extra problems of having the th his body light up like a Christmas tree from like a scan he got and that he would have more cancer spread up to his body. But if Hazel would have died instead of Gus, I feel like maybe the same thing could occur. Like, you know, Hazel sending... No, wait. I don't think Hazel would have sent that letter to um, that author because that's what Gus originally did. So I feel like Hazel wouldn't leave anything behind for Gus to read. I don't know. I guess it depends, really. So I don't know how that would turn out if Hazel would have sent anything behind for Gus to read as like a, you know, a goodbye thing or whatever after she dies. So it would have been interesting to see what would happen if Hazel died instead of Gus origin um, alternatively. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.